Hi everyone, I'm Wilsonator, and welcome back to Rust. Man, it has actually been a long, long time, uh, almost about a month, I think, since I recorded Rust last. There's been a lot of problems, man. Uh, the last few wipes on this server, there's been some problems at wipe, um, like with connection and stuff, but we've managed to resolve them, so I'm finally recording at wipe, which is a really nice feeling. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while, so I do apologize for the lack of videos. Um, the, that, that's kind of the reason, but we're, we're in here now, we're running around, and we've got big plans. Also, we don't just have big plans, we also have hair. That's right, the, the, the latest update to Rust actually added hair. <laughs> so, no more nakeds anymore. Well, I mean, I'm naked still, of course, but uh, not quite as naked. I do have a luscious head of hair now, um, which is a, a pretty nice feeling, to be honest. Especially, you know, when it's cold, it's a cold, uh, dark night, and, you know, you're wondering, hey... Wouldn't it be nice if I had hair? Well, now you do. You got hair. <laughs> and if I was a man, I would also have a beard. I'd like a beard regardless, to be honest, but uh, I don't think that will happen, to be honest, since I am a woman, uh, which kind of sucked. Like I said, it's been a little while since I've recorded Rust, so I'm, I'm hoping I'm not too sloppy uh, at the game, but we'll have to see. I do have plans for what I want to do. Uh, like I would like to try and take the helicopter. I know we failed at taking it last time. I would like to try again. Uh, and hopefully succeed this time. That'd be really nice uh, if we could do that. But uh, we'll have to see if that's the case. So we're gonna we're gonna start heading inland. Uh, they have actually changed the way the maps in the game are generated now. So you don't have north being cold anymore and south being desert. Maps are generated in a different way now, uh, based on like component tiers that spawn, like the monument tiers. So uh, climates can spawn pretty much anywhere now, uh, and everyone starts near like the noob monuments, like all the gas stations, super uh, supermarkets, you know, stuff like that. And then you'll get like launch site and stuff on the opposite side of the map. So if you want to get like the better components, you have to kind of make the trek to the other side of the map. So it's kind of a nice way of like trying to split out like the, the lesser geared players and the, you know, the higher geared players. Let's get some arrows. So there's been some changes to like the, uh, the game basically since I last recorded uh, and a big one is it's gonna be actually a little bit harder for us to take the heli this wipe because uh, you don't really get AKs and stuff out of airdrops as commonly as you used to and uh, you can't camp the launch site at the moment either they've added like intense amounts of radiation around the launch site which kind of sucks oh there's a guy there should we try and kill this guy should we try our luck Where'd he go? There he is. Fucking running for it. Fuck it, let's go. If he comes for us, we'll have to fight him, but I'd rather actually just stay alive right now. Let's get a, uh, a pickaxe, and we'll also try and get some burlap clothes, and we'll just continue our journey sort of across the map. We want to we, we want to go there like ASAP. One thing I noticed about Rust is um, I tend to have a much better start if I just run away from the spawn area because the spawn area, everyone's respawning there and they're constantly they're trying to make plays, you know, trying to get like bows and stuff. So you're always going to get like these massive fights there and a lot of time you just won't survive no matter how many you win. There'll just be so many people around the area that you're pretty much going to probably die and lose your shit. Like, unless you get out of there ASAP. Uh, so, that's what we're doing. We're getting out of there uh, ASAP. So, where are we right now? Uh, we could go, like, around this area. Portrait plants sewer branch. Sewer branch is a nice monument. We could head, like, to that road there. Try and build a base over by the road. Yeah, to, to anyone who's new. I, I mean, I, I made this channel update uh, the other day. Um, with me joining the Oxcast. So, anyone who's new to the channel, welcome, I guess. Um, I hope you enjoy the content. Especially the Rust content. Because that's, like, my main thing. Uh... I'm a bit of a tryhard, I've got, got to be honest with you. Um, I like to, to try super hard, and I like to try and kill people. Uh, so I'm a bit of a scumbag in the game, to be honest. But I hope you guys can accept that. And accept me for the, the, the loving scumbag that I am. <laughs> uh, you know, and yeah, it should be, should be great. We've got quite a bit of stone here. Should be probably just about enough. Let's get some wood. Uh, and then we need to really try and find an animal. We're just going to have to fucking deal with the rads here while we chop this guy up. This is a very important bear though, this is like, 
the, the bear that will help us get started, hopefully. Cooking up our metal here. We should have enough quite easily to get ourselves a door uh, and a code lock. Alright, cool. Secured. That's a nice feeling. Let's throw away this shit here. We don't need it anymore. Uh, and we can head out now if we like. Since it's morning, let's fucking go. I see a guy up there actually. Should we try and kill him? Could be worth trying, right? He did look like naked or some shit. Oh. Okay, definitely not naked. And there's two of them. Fuck. Fuck. I kind of underestimated that. I thought that, that I thought there was just one of them. I didn't actually see the second guy. And he, he didn't look geared from a distance either. Fuck. That's him still there. Wait, no. That's not him. That's a different guy. Are they together as well? They're not as geared as the guys I just fought. Pretty sure they saw me, right? Yeah, they did. Fuck. I'm dead. Some armor. I need to get a bit of wood. Shit. First proper kill. He was pretty stacked as well. Lovely. I saw a guy over there. I don't really want to tussle with him right now. I just want to get the stuff back inside. See, at the moment, I'm like really wary. I don't want to try and fight people unless I have to. I just try and head to our base, which is just up this way. Oh, there's a guy there. Fuck. I don't want to try and fight this guy, but I've kind of already started. Shit. There is another guy there. He's not a friend of mine. He might be that guy's friend, actually. I think he is. He said, he's, yeah, they're, they're fucking friends. Shit. all that shit man fuck I think we're gonna move man fuck I think we're gonna move because I'm getting pissed off in this area you know what we're gonna do it we're gonna try and just leave this area go back to that area where I killed that guy before grab what we can and just go fuck it <laughs> I've already rage quit from this area I, I just can't man there's just too many people here see oh fuck we've been spotted already these bag timers are really pissing me off as well fuck Hey man, I have nothing. I just have some bone tools. There's no need. Dude, I have nothing. I have literally got bone tools. You're wasting your arrows. Oh yeah, yeah. Get your boyfriend to help you, why don't you? Fucking piece of shit. Yeah, nice shot, dickhead. I see him. 
he is still chasing me. Holy shit. That's some dedication right there. Holy fuck. I don't know what this guy's name is, but I, I actually kind of want him to catch me so I can laugh at him. I've never seen someone chase a naked like that. Fuck. Things I don't even have a sash yet. <laughs> We're about to get one because I'm about to make a bow. I don't see him anymore, thankfully. All right, <clears throat> we got our structure here secured. Now we just need to go back to base, grab our furnaces and our door, and move our shit over here. That's gonna be fun. Uh, but we're gonna try and do it, and hopefully not die in the process. So should be good to pick that up, right? Yeah. Can I not pick that up? Why not? Oh shit. fucking run. It's got a code lock on our door at the ready anyways. See if we can just quickly throw it in. And then we can just put all our, our new stuff in there and then we'll be back. Alright, cool. Mission complete. No casualties other than, you know, me like 10 times. Um, but we got our stuff in this base. No problem. Now, the next step is we need to upgrade this base, to be honest. We need to get a bit of uh, stone, get it upgraded to stone. And then we will be ready to go out and start trying to fight people, I think. Oh. Incoming. Two of them. It's always two, man. Fuck. Why are they still shooting me? I'm dead. Fuck off. There, I see him. That's their base, I think. Maybe. I should have hit. What the fuck? Shit. lock. Was it this base? I don't think so. This doesn't even have a... No. It's, um, I, I reckon it's this base over here, to be honest. Fucking beautiful. Throw away the key. We don't need that anymore. Whew, okay. Things are looking up a little bit now. They have actually also added a cool feature um, to the component system, or the blueprint system even, where you can use scrap now to try and generate a random blueprint. 
which is really nice. You can actually use the workbench. Uh, you just put some scrap into it, and it costs 100 scrap, and it gives you a random blueprint of that tier, um, which is really nice. Yeah, anyway, I, I do apologize. Um, if I if I kind of suck at the moment, like a PvP, I don't know if I do, or if it's just the people just seem to be getting the better of me. I, think it's, I don't think I suck, because I've been hitting quite a few shots, but I just don't seem to be killing them quick enough. Like, when I'm fighting two guys, I, I keep alternating between shooting at two. I reckon what I should try and do going forward, well, here's what we'll try and do, right? We'll try and, if we get into a fight with two guys, is we'll try and focus on taking out one of them first, and then we can focus the second guy. Because what happens is you start shooting at one, you hit him, and then you switch to his friend. He's not going to turn around and run because you stopped shooting at him, so he's going to continue shooting at you. So I reckon it might be worth... Oh, shoot, double door. It might be worth just trying to focus on one guy at a time. Maybe we'll have better luck than if we're just trying to damage them both at the same time. The only problem is, obviously, while you're shooting at one guy, his mate has like got full... He's got no pressure on him, you know? If you're shooting at someone, there's pressure on them, and a lot of the time they panic as well. But, like, if you're just shooting at his friend, he's not going to be panicking at all, you know? He's just going to be free reign to just open fire on your back. So it's a bit hard. It's a tricky thing, but, you know, I'm sure throw anything in here at the moment. We need kind of any, like, rope or scrap or anything like that. Boom, six foot of rope. That's not bad. Let's get, um... A little bit of wooden armor from that, and then we can store the rest in the base if we can make it back there in one piece. If we do the parkour challenge and get something nice from up here, that'd be really cool. I mean, look, there is radiation. Fuck, I, I forgot about that. We need to be careful going in there. Let's do the challenge first. That way we're not going to be like low on health when we do it. Fuck. Now we will be. Fuck's sake. Nothing. Nothing up here. Someone must have already been here. Shit, I'm taking the real risky way down right now. Fuck. I don't know why I did that way down. Alright, we're gonna try and get this stuff back, get this workbench placed down. Although we do need to expand the base a little bit before we can place it down in there. Oh, there's a guy right there. Is he got a gun? Nail gun. Guys have crossies. Shit. Hello. Yes. Yes. I oh, shoot the friend. Shooting him as well. <laughs> this guy go down? He must have done, right? Surely. That's why you would take your gear off when the heli comes, holy shit. Alright, we've got ourselves nail guns and crossbows now. Obviously there's only a couple, but um, that's all we need for the time being. Man, that heli really fucking helped us there, didn't it? We were in a bit of a pickle, <laughs> to be honest. We were about to die. It's not usually that the helicopter actually saves me, but uh, I'm not going to complain when it does, you know? Oh. It's naked. Fuck him. Bitch. I was gonna let him go, but he decided to fight. Not really worth it, if you ask me, but... I took the shot at him, not realising he was full naked. I just sort of saw the movement I shot, but... 
He sort of sealed his own fate there. Can you actually pick up the nails from him? I don't think so. I think I think you can pick them up now. It used to be that you couldn't. But um, I think they've changed it so that you can pick them up. Seventeen foot of rope just from recycling those eleven kits. See, that's what that's what I mean. Like, sewing kits are like the most valuable fucking component, that, like for early game, I think, because you just recycle them for rope. Well, I mean, I guess technically speaking, that means rope is the most valuable, but sewing kits give you a lot of rope, so they're very very good. Let's hit dome, anyways. We're we're gonna try and hit the dome. He's gonna have a really good defensive position up there. We just need to be careful not to fucking slip here. He's gonna be shooting at us. What? The fuck? He's actually climbing. Why would you climb? Unless he's hoping to get like a, a gun or something, I don't know. There he is. The fuck? What's he doing? <laughs> you do actually get your nails back from shooting people with them. I don't know what that guy was up to, man. Like, <laughs> he knew I was coming, surely. He must have been able to hear me shooting at him from down below, but he acted like he didn't even know I was there. It looks like it wasn't worth the trip. We can't stay here either. The sun's going down. It's going to get super cold up here. Oh fuck. And I do like the, the nail gun. It's a really nice weapon for finishing people who are already low. Alright, so how good is this compared to the wolf head dress? We're looking at projectile damage mainly. It's exactly the same. It's actually very good. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna run around with this on. Do you, do you know what I don't understand? Look at this, alright? Watch the this thing here. Look at the weird fade. See like that? It's really weird. I think it's like the, the new thing they added for the hair, like they added like these weird new shaders and you can kind of see it like fucking up a little bit there. Seems to be a little, a little bit bugged, but oh well. Oh, there's someone up there. He's got a gun. I think he's got a nail gun. Oh no, that's a revolver. Shit. Thanks. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, okay, we got the revolver back. Fuck yes. Uh, can we actually research it right now with what we've got? Oh, not quite. 
it's fine. We can take some stuff to the recycler. And I, re I reckon we'll have enough in no time uh, to, to research this revolver. We'll store the bullets in here for now as well. There's a guy sneaking. Alright, now what would make this really, really fucking sweet is if we could get like some um, medical boxes here. I don't think we're gonna find any. They usually spawn under. Uh, no, these are food crates. We want medical ones because there's a good chance you can get a medical crate and you'll find um, either a large med kit or even just a single med and then we can research meds. If it's a large. Is that one? That is one down there. Shit. Fucking ow. Okay, we can research that. Or we can, no, what we'll do is we recycle that and then we get uh, a med stick, which we can then research back at base. Oh, for fuck's sake! I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm gonna fucking fall to my death at this point. I'm usually really good at this parkour as well. I don't know what's going on. I'm not even like falling at the bits you usually fall at. I'm just like slipping off of things because I'm very impatient. Have to have a bit of patience. There's nothing like, even up here, it wasn't even worth it. <laughs> Oh, someone's here. Did he just fucking steal my shit and run? I reckon he did. Yeah, dude, look, he's running for it. Did he just go underground? I think he did. even have my stuff. I think he used it, I reckon. Let's go check if it's still there. Shit. I, I really, I, I didn't want to risk it because I thought he might have just grabbed it and ran because he was up by the recycler. Shit. Hopefully no one else has taken it. Let's go. Okay, cool. He didn't actually have my stuff. Luckily no one else came and took it. That would have been embarrassing if we just left it all <laughs> and someone just took it from us. Uh... Alright, we got a med pen. Let's fucking leg it back to base. We need that to get back to base. And also that extra scrap. Uh, this guy didn't have much else on him. And we can do that as well. And now we can make revolvers and bullets. Well, we're having a good start to the wipe. That's, uh, that's one thing. <laughs> we had a really rough time at the very start, but we've uh, sort of picked things up. And uh, we're sort of doing well now, um, which is always a nice feeling. All right, I think we're going to finish this episode here. We've uh, done quite a lot today. Uh, I am going to continue playing, of course. I'd like to record some more tonight, uh, get some more shit done, because things are going very, very well, and hopefully they keep going as well as they're going, because uh, that would be really, really nice uh, if our stroke of luck keeps up. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.